Hello, my name is Larison Carew, and this is episode two of the Feed to Beat Feed the to Fuck Me. I should say this is about the fifth time I've tried the intro now, and I've just screwed it up every time. This is the second episode for my Feed the Beast Let's Play. Simples. Done. Becoming night. Damn. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to craft one of the new items. For that, I don't actually need a shovel, but it would be nice. Is there any sand in these? No. Right, I need a bit of glass, so hence I'm hunting for sand. I know there's some sand over here, thanks to the lovely Ray's mini-map. I do not know what I would do without it. Yay. Sand is always useful, so I'll grab a few bits. Okay, 11 bits. That's fine. Right, I should point something out. Something just occurred to me. The reason my waypoint for this is home question mark is... I don't know if I'm going to stay here. To be honest, I don't even know if this world is going to last long because, well, this is a brand new server. Anything could happen to break this server. Right, anyway, for this recipe, I'm going to not need the drone. I'm going to need five honeycombs. Uh, of course, I've got six because, hey, why not? I'm a fun guy. Uh, I'm going to need a chest. Really, th this isn't a necessity, but it is very useful to have. So, it's going to be five honeycombs. It can be any honeycombs. It doesn't have to be these ones. Actually, I'm going to keep one of my regular honeycombs because I'm in a what's it? I'm in a swampy area, so it'll be easier to get swamps. And then we have an apiarist chest. So I'm going to put that here. And now this can have it can store bees, lots and lots of bees. That is precisely what I'm going to put in it. Now you notice I get a question mark every time I hover over it because those are traits. And because I don't have a bee Eliza, I won't for some time, I don't know what those traits are. I do want to make, at some point, an apiary. There is an easy way of getting this. Um... <sighs> The easier way is to find a village, as in the new update, uh, villages will allow sometimes spawn with an apiarist hut, and they have apiaries in them. And you have to do, use a carpenter to make this, and it just it ha looks like it has. Oh no, it can be any wood, any logs, to make an impregnated casing. But the problem is to make a carpenter. You have to use bronze and a sturdy casing. And to actually power the carpenter... I don't know. It's just... Uh, annoying. So... I have an idea, and I'm going to have a go at it now, actually. Right. This is a waste of tin. I know it's a waste of tin. And I apologise to everyone in advance who's going to be screaming at me, You're wasting tin! But to make bronze, this bronze, it's cut one cop one tin and four three copper. So I can make eight bronze. In fact, I'm gonna need to smelt all my copper to make this viable. <laughs> but yeah, I really, 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 really want to do the bees. And for no good reason either. I, there is no real reason to want to do beekeeping, apart from maybe a bit of food and the odd occasional bit of wisp. I suppose there is one thing, stained glass. That's pretty funky. Uh, are you going to come attack me? Ha ha. Right. 
I also want to upgrade this house as well, because this is shit. This was made legit and in a rush because it was becoming night. Right, so whilst this is melting, I'm going to describe some of the aspirations, shall we say, for this Let's Play. The key mods I'm going to be... Ooh, that's done. The key mods I'm going to be investigating are going to be, of course, industrial craft, build craft, standard. Um, one of the mods I really want to get into is Steve's Carts. We've had a play around with that on a creative bit, and it was pretty fucking awesome. Um, but that, of course, is going to require doing some uh, coke oven because you have to get rails, and they're not as easy to make as they once were. Um, I also, this is why I said in the first video, to a mass leather, I also want to use Mistcraft. Now, I have used this before. Not with much success, either, <laughs> has to be said. Got, got a bit of tin here. An extra drone. Um, the first time I used it, I made a book, I went to a new world, and I got completely stuck. It was a world with no trees, so I couldn't get back either because you can't, I couldn't create a linking book, uh, a, a writing desk, something I can't remember. It was an older version, so it was an unmitigated disaster. Oh, these are different versions of tin. Second time I used it was about a week ago, and I got into a world that was fine. The problem was, it was a world which randomly set you on fire. It wasn't... It also get, got you stuck with mining fatigue. So I couldn't do anything. And it just set all neutral, uh, passive and friendly mobs on fire. I don't know if you've ever been set on fire. It's not pleasant. <laughs> um... So yeah, it, that wasn't very successful. So I want to do it properly. I sort of know how to do it properly, but not really. What what? Um. So it's going to be an experiment. Just to see if I can actually figure the figure it the fuck out. Right here we go, carpenter. Ta da! Oh, bollocks. I've just remembered it needs seed oil as well, doesn't it, to make that recipe? If you look... Apiary... Apiary's pipe. Oh uh, yeah, to make the impregnated casing you need seed oil. Now to make seed oil, you need a squeezer. And to make a squeezer... You need more bronze and more tin, you son of a bitch. So guess where I'm about to go? You know what? I need a stack of wood. I've got 40, 24. Okay. So... Time to wait for the sunset. Oh, it's sunset. Sunrise. There's also a fucking creeper. I'm gonna put my stuff away just in case it gets blown up. Keep that, because I want to keep a track of how much. Right, the reason I want to stuff. Set on fire. Set on fire. La 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 I don't have a back. Now I do. Uh, 
This is a very temporary solution. Right, yeah, the reason I want a stack of wood is to make a fuck ton of ladders. <laughs> I knew that sound. Ow! So I can mine down. Probably not a very smart thing to do, but you know. I'm all about the bad ideas. Why else would I be making this Let's Play? Ha uh, ha, uh, satire. Not really satire, is it, if I'm making fun of myself? Uh, right. I also endeavour... Oh, for God's sake, I've just remembered I've forgotten to set my fucking stopwatch again. It's pretty standard by now. That's a zombie. Oh shit, just looked at that. <laughs> Don't attack me. Fucking hate the Enderman, especially with their new noises. Four, I reckon. I reckon it's four. Three, four. Would you look at that? And now I have exactly one over a stack of wood. Damn you. Why did you have to be uneven? You bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got a hole. Okay, if we now get that. Right. We do this. I learnt from many, 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 many attempts at this. One stack of log will make three stacks of ladders. See? Boff. And the reason I learnt that is because I use this mining technique a lot. As you may recognise from my tech it. I also came down here without a pickaxe like a twat. I'm all about being the twat today, apparently. I don't need three stacks of ladders. I only need one. Yeah. Uh, where's my food? I need my food. Where's all my steak gone? There it is. Love a bit of steak. <laughs> Alright, so we'll mine down to the diamond level, do some strip mining. Hope we find a ravine or a cavern of some sort. The one I've already got has been mined out. Except for, like, the stuff I'm not interested in. Um, some iron. Do this. I will smelt this at some point, but for now it's just... Collecting. I need a ton of copper. And I still haven't actually collected any rubber, I should do that. God, this is a big vein. Um, so I want to get my IC2 startup done as well. So that I'm good to go. I mean, at, at one point I did know exactly how much material you needed to get the IC2 startup. Which is the generator, bat box, um macerator, electric furnace, and extractor. 
I mean, off the top of my head, that's generator, macerator, electric furnace, and extractor is four machine blocks. So that's 24 refined iron straight away. Um, the three machines are going to require circuits, which means six copper wires each. So that's 18 copper. Uh, the bat box is, and the generator need four batteries, so that's 16 tin. But bear in mind that once, <laughs> once you've got the macerator, all your ores are doubled. Oh, it's a pain in the ass to figure it out. Really, all you need to begin with is four tin, six. Four tin, 16 refined iron, excuse me. 17 refined iron for the circuit, uh, 6 copper, and some other stuff. I can't be asked to do math on mining. But really, you don't want to start doing IC2 with um, no bat box, otherwise you just end up losing power. What I also want to get pretty quick as well is quite a lot of clay, so I can get a um, coke for, coke oven set up. That's pretty key. Um, that way I can get more out of my coal, and because I'll show you, coal as you see can produce four thousand EU each if you put it. Through the coke oven, is it on here? Press the wrong button. Usage. Shapeless crafting. Fuel. Carpenter. Coke oven. Right. 4,000. 16,000 for a cold coke. So by putting it through the coke oven, it becomes four times more powerful for an industrial craft. And I checked it out, I tried it, with just a generator hooked hook straight up to a macerator, nothing in between. One coal coke will macerate ten ores. Uh, that's pretty fucking good. So, when you consider that if you just went straight with coal, there'd be a lot less of you wouldn't You'd macerate two ores per coal. So it's far more efficient to use cold coke. That requires, <laughs> if I remember correctly, it requires two stacks of clay to get one oven. So yeah, I need a lot. It's not exactly easy to find in great quantities, and I just saw, for some reason I got some weird bug where I can sort of see through the seams of blocks, and I can see lava through that. Okay, before I drop down, I mustn't forget to do the ladder. Oh shit! Oh god, didn't want to do that. It's no big deal, it just didn't want to do it. Bit of tin, always useful. It's more appetite. I'll be getting that set up. I've got to get everything set up pretty quickly. I've got to get a peat bog set up so that I can um, get a renewable energy source. Peat, I'll show you again, is... I think it's pretty much like coal, except you can cook, you can grow it. But actually, it's a bit more useful than coal. It's 5,000 EU. And you use a peat bog to make it, which is uh, forestry. It's not buildcraft, get it right. Um, and it uses some pretty low level resources to make. The only problem is to get the, the machine that harvests it is called a turbary. Right, so here's a peat bog. And this is what it uses. Copper electrons, sturdy casing, which is bronze. Copper electrons uses the thermionic fabricator, which I haven't actually figured out how to use. Um, yeah, so it's just copper, basically. And bronze and a small circuit board, which is carpenter. Fucking. But to to harv automatically harvest it, I should say, you need a turbary, which uses tin electron. 
Oh, okay. It's not as expensive as I thought it was, but tin is rarer than copper. He says, as he has vastly more tin than he does copper. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems that the, the ore spawn rates in Feed the Beast is a lot lower than it was in Tech It. And I'm out of pickaxes. Let's go get another one. Actually, I'm going to make an iron one as well. Because we're finding a fair bit of silver. Hopefully that's a silver with a big vein on it as well. Because <laughs> it's always good when it's got a big vein on it. Ah, make your childish jokes as you please. Alright, so we'll cook one stack of one lot of that. Whilst that's doing that, I'm going to have a... Oh, it's the sun setting. Have a quick look in the pools to see if I can find any. Right. This would also be a mag... Oh, fucking lag. That. Yeah, that's clay. Not a lot of it, though. Right, that's a beehive. I will show you what to do with beehives, as I was confused to begin with as well. Because you try to break it, you don't get nothing. What you have to use is one of these. A scoop. And to make a scoop, it's just sticks and a bit of wool. Easy. And you go over to the beehive, which is now surrounded by mobs. Motherfucker. Right, it's enough to make uh, two things I want. Rah! Right, so I just murder everything. That's only a couple of things in the way. String's always a bit useful. Ha ha ha! Squiddly squid! Oh, squid, actually. I do actually need them. I do need a squid. Because I need the ink sack to make a writing table. Fuck you too, nature! Right, yes, as I was saying, with a cob... with a cob... fuck. With a beehive, all you do is you break it with a scoop. And you get sort of princesses and drones. To get the honeycombs I showed earlier, you sometimes you do the same when you do the same thing, it will drop a honeycomb. The one I dropped, the one I broke was a marshy beehive, which is why I've got the marshy princess and the marshy drone. Um, as far as I know, their envir their names from where they are are quite important because the biome you place the apiary in has to match or be close to the bee you put in it so that they actually do what you want. It's mind-bogglingly complex just for fucking bees for no apparent reason, but it's still fun. Apologies if that sound just made it into the recording as well. Oh, it's just a bit parched. Okay, so I'm going to put this guff back. Three ink sacks and one... Christ. He was laden with ink. Okay. Oh, I was going to make some regular pickaxes one night. Let's make five. Okay, and put the bees in here. See, it, that, that apiarist chest hasn't even recognised that they're a species yet. Was there anything here? No. It's here. Aha! Now, this is also silver. I remember rightly. 
No, no, it's, no, it's lead. Lead is quite an end game resource from what I remember. Poxy gravel. Um, you wouldn't really think it, considering it's fucking lead, but you use it in quite a lot of the end end game machines, from what I remember. But I can't remember off the top of my head what machines they are and what their purpose is, so aren't I the useful one? Right. The only reason I'm doing that is so I keep everything even, otherwise I'm going to splurge out. And no one wants to see me splurge. You sick son of a bitch. Yeah, that's all well and good. But, what? I've never taken damage from a three block fall before. Why am I taking damage now? You son of a beach. It's my Jesse Cox impression, by the way, just in case you didn't know that. Uh, even though when Jesse Cox says that he's doing an impression of someone else, I just don't know what that impression is of. Ooh, a cave. Let's hope I can be more manly than I was last time. Ooh, redstone. Ooh, piece of candy. Just lighting it up so I don't get ambushed. Nah, okay, good. So I'm safe. But yeah, I would never know where that's from because I'm English and I don't know anything what Americans quote. Also bear in mind that I do not watch television. Well, not much anyway. I watch the occasional series, but not on a television. Because I get bored of adverts. Having someone say, Hi, I'm Barry Scott, and this is new Silic Grenade. A thousand times, or God compare. You just get fucking bored with it. So, I don't watch TV anymore. I just sit in my room, playing games, and moaning about work. It's a simple life. We interrupt this broadcast. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just felt like doing that. That's probably turned my viewers to nothing. What the fuck is that? Is that Emerald Ore? I don't actually know what this is, kids. Monazi or Fus Fuck him. Okay. What's it for? MFFS for uh oh, boring. Force fields. Pretty rare from what I can understand, but I won't be using it. At least not until I actually learn force fields. Right, this is the diamond layer. Mm, new lava sound. Makes me think of boiling chocolate for some reason. Though, can you actually boil? Well, of course you can boil chocolate. But I'm just trying to think, what would the boiling temperature of chocolate be? Because it's quite a, a thick consistency, so it's not going to be 100 degrees. But then it melts at, like, room temperature. So what... Here's a question for you, science buffs. What is the boiling temperature of chocolate? Like, dairy chocolate. Not dark, not white, dairy chocolate. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> God, those were the days. 
Um, this is my technique for finding diamonds. Because I always seem to find diamonds skirting a lava pool. Ha! Okay. I don't actually know what I'm looking Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Copper. Copper, not cop out. I need some. Two. Two bits of copper. Aren't I Mr. Fucking Money Bags? I don't need but much, any more redstone. Bollocks to you! I'm just gonna go strip mine him. I may actually cut this bit out, because let's be honest, who actually wants to sit here watch me strip mining? Strip dancing? Now, I know some of you would love to see that. Of course, I mean none of you, but... Sh <laughs> I can live in my fantasy if I want to. Don't take it away from me. Fly me to the moon. Let the stars come out to play. Not the lyrics. I just couldn't remember, so I made it up. Probably actually is the lyrics, it's just sub subconsciously wrapped into my brain because I spent my youth playing fucking card games with 80 year old women and a twat. Always listening to Frank fucking Sinatra. Of course, I was 12 years old at the time and thought I actually enjoyed it before I realised I really didn't. But I will. That's my past. Or part of it, anyway. Because I can't think of anything Minecraft related to talk about. This is me destroying stone. Whoop de fucking do. This is a whole new game. Water. In that direction. Flowing water. Is this one of the big... Oh, damn it. I want to find one of the big veins of silver. Because then that, that's basically me set. I don't have to worry then. Really close to that water. It's on my left. Well, actually, probably more behind me now, but. Okay, I just had a bat die. Ha!
Success! Just to mark my exit, because I will forget where I came from. Oh shit, shit, shit! God, fuck you! Fucking fuck, fuck, fucks. Fuck. Damn. Um. <laughs> can't think of anything smart to say to all of. Oh, it's a speed ray. That's what I'm calling them now, just so you know. <laughs> Spid rays. That's my name for spiders. Well, that's my sensible name for spiders. My actual name for spiders is fucking cunts who've come out of nowhere. I know people hate that word. I don't. As may be very apparent. And in fact, if it's not very apparent, then you're a dumbass. I really need to stop insulting my audience. It's not going to get me very far. Ah, <laughs> oh, you'll get used to it. I have no torches left. Do I have any wood? Got wood. Except for I don't. Creeper's so going to come up behind me in a minute. That's a very nice health bar you have there. That doesn't work. But apologies for that really bad joke. Ooh, frame lag. I still haven't got much copper. See, in the last world I played, there was barely any tin. I mean, literally none. I had 24 of it and I was considered rich. And now I've got four bits of copper. No, oh, only 14 bits of tin. But like 20 lead, 9 silver. I don't know. It's all a bit backwards, really. I wonder if I'll fight the wither in this lap. <laughs> Don't be silly. Ooh, spooky noise! Spooky noise! Hmm. This video has been going on for a while. There's been a lot of silence. I also can't find any suitable music. I'm not even going to chance it. I'm going to go back, get some wood, get some torches, dump all my crap and come back. Hurrah! Ooh, lover. I'm losing the plot. But if you've watched any of my videos, you should know that's pretty standard. God, I hate the new ladder noise. Sounds like someone's put the fart machine on every joint of this fucking thing. Oh, 
I'll restore my sugar cane. As that's going to be pretty necessary when it comes to using Miscraft. Uh, I'm also going to go... Oh, let's leave it there. Go get some clay. How much... We have no daylight left. Again! Sorry, I thought I saw a nameplate then. Oh, you mean... Fuck you. Uh, guff. That's it. Deposit all my guff. In my guff box. That's what I'm calling it now. My guff box. If you don't like it, well, sucks to be you, bitch. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> it's quite simple. I just need to stop doing that. Let's do this. 36 torches. I'll do for now. Let's bring some of the sticks just for if you run out again. Let's bring a couple of steaks as well because we're running a bit low on food. Oh shit! Ooh. Ooh. The armour is holding out surprisingly well. Oh shite, I know what I've got to do. I need to harvest rubber. Oh, but it's night time. Bollocks to it. Yeah, for bronze armour, I was, I was thoroughly expecting this to have sucked nuts and just let me die. But... It's given me a surprising amount, surprising amount of defence. It's really quite durable. The only one, only one above this I would consider using, and I've used before, is the composite uh, gear, which is like part bronze, part iron, if I remember correctly. Now, unless I'm going mad, there's a zombie behind this wall. Oh god, it's creeping me out, because he's right there somewhere, and I don't want to... Chris! Uh... Aha! Have at you! My sound is also very loud. Turn that down a bit. Okay. One bit of coal? Christ. That's a bit stingy. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Yes, I'm quoting Eddie Izzard, no, I don't care. Don't need redstone, do it some coal. I could do with finding a dungeon, really. See if they've got any fun bits of stuff in that. But I'm not really going to find one, I don't think. Because that would be too convenient. God, I've got a lot of experience. But I haven't found a single diamond to be able to use the bloody thing. I say I don't need that redstone. I know in a few episodes time I'm going to be saying, oh, I don't have any fucking redstone. And no one will point out that I missed some redstone earlier episodes because no one watches it. But I don't care. I will keep going in the vain hope that people like me. Please like me. I crave approval. What? <laughs> I like me. Again, random quotes. Cookie to all the people who guessed it. Ooh, I'm in caps.
Another cookie to people who know that quote. <laughs> okay, I'm losing the plot. I'm going to go back to the, my house, deposit all my stuff, and I'm going to end the episode here, because I don't actually remember the way back. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.